The following procedure can be used to further dilute medication in solution before administering it with a syringe or injecting it into an empty reservoir. First, draw up the medication and the diluent in separate syringes. Grasp the transfer device in the center and remove the protective cap, if any, taking care not to contaminate the sterile port or to disrupt laminar airflow over the critical sites. With the transfer set still in your hand, Remove the needle from the first syringe and attach the syringe to the transfer set. Switch the assembly to your other hand. Remove the other protective cap. Remove the needle from the second syringe. Attach the syringe to the transfer set. Mix the diluent and the medication by pressing repeatedly, first on the plunger of one syringe and then on the plunger of the other. Transfer all of the solution into the larger syringe. Hold the assembly vertically and expel the air bubbles from the syringe containing the solution into the syringe above. Remove the syringe with the solution holding the body of the transfer set as you do. Attach a needle to the syringe or place a sterile cap on it. Place the cassette in the center of the work surface. Remove the protector on the tubing, taking care not to contaminate the end of the tubing. Keep the tubing in your hand. Attach the syringe to the tubing. Inject the solution into the cassette. If the dose is divided among several syringes, remove the empty syringe and attach another one to the tubing. Leave the last syringe attached. Create a large air bubble in the cassette reservoir to capture all the small bubbles. If necessary, tap the cassette on the work surface to dislodge any air bubbles that refuse to clear. Bring a large air bubble into the corner of the cassette at the tubing inlet. Draw air from the reservoir into the syringe and fill the tubing with solution. Make sure to dislodge any bubbles at the junction of the cassette and the tubing. Keeping the end of the syringe downward, re-inject solution drawn if necessary. Take care not to re-inject air. Repeat as necessary until all bubbles have been expelled. Clamp the tubing. Remove the protective cap from its wrapping without contaminating the end. Remove the syringe and aseptically attach the sterile cap to the tubing.
Disinfect the rubber stopper and let it dry. Insert the needle in the center of the stopper at a 45 degree angle, bevel facing upward, and quickly bring the syringe up to a 90 degree angle. Allow the syringe to empty completely before withdrawing it. Proceed in the same way to inject the other medications. Disinfect the stopper before each addition and after the last one. Disinfect the rubber stopper and let it dry. Clamp the tubing. Remove the plastic protector from the spike, taking care not to contaminate the end. Insert the spike into the bottle at a 90 degree angle without turning it if possible. Hold the bag firmly by the administration set port and remove the plastic protector. Next, remove the plastic protector on the spike at the other end of the tubing. Insert the spike and push it in deeply. Hang up the bottle and unclamp the tubing. Let the contents of the bottle flow into the bag. Lift the tubing to empty it completely. Lift the bag, the administration set port facing upward, and clamp the tubing. Fold the empty tubing near the bag's administration set port. Place the metal ring around the fold in the tubing. Crimp the ring with the flat part of the pliers. Check that the ring is watertight by pressing lightly on the solution bag. Cut the tubing about one centimeter above the ring with the sharp part of the pliers. And finally, invert the bag several times to thoroughly mix the solution. Clamp the tubing of the infusion system. Remove the protective cap and place it on an alcohol swab or a sterile gauze, taking care not to contaminate it. Remove the needle from one of the diluent syringes. Attach the syringe to the infusion system port. Tilt the system. 
Hold the syringe firmly and push the solution into the balloon reservoir. Bring the infusion system to a vertical position and remove the syringe. Inject the contents of the other syringes in the same manner, ending with those containing medication. Replace the protective cap on the infuser. Unwrap a sterile gauze and place it on the work surface. Hold the end of the tubing above the sterile gauze. Remove the protective cap and keep it in your hand, taking care not to contaminate the end. Unclamp it. Prime the tubing and clamp it. Put the protective cap back on the end of the tubing using a septic technique. All ophthalmic preparations must be sterile and prepared in a certified laminar airflow hood. We will describe the procedure for preparing a topical ophthalmic solution. First open a bottle of sterile ophthalmic drops containing the vehicle. Remove the dropper with the bottle cap and place it on a sterile gauze. Adjust the volume of the vehicle according to need and have it verified before returning the fluid to the bottle. Withdraw the solution containing the previously reconstituted medication and perform verifications as per facility protocol. Replace the regular needle with a filter needle and adjust the volume. Add the medication solution to the vehicle, taking care not to touch the edges of the bottle. Put the dropper back on the bottle and screw on the cap until you hear a click. Gently shake the bottle or invert it to mix the preparation. Let's look now at the last stages in packaging prepared sterile products. Press each solution bag gently to ensure there are no punctures or leaks. Visually inspect bottles, bags and syringes. Place a protective seal on the injection port of solution bags to indicate that one or more additives have been introduced.